All right, just taking a quick look at this new Delta II Max. So this is this is the latest model that EcoFlow's kind of converted to LFP, and we definitely got a lot to talk about. Uh, pretty significant improvements over the the 2000, the Delta 2000. So yeah, we're we're going to talk about all the specs here in this video. You know, the charging and everything else. Uh, we'll kind of dive deep into all that stuff, and then at the end, as usual, we'll kind of do like a design analysis on this thing. And I do kind of have some, uh, just a few uh, th things to note with that. But, um, but yeah, let's just kind of jump into it. Obviously, the, the big change here is, is going to LFP batteries. And we'll, we'll talk about the weight here in a second. But um, it does weigh a little bit more than the 2000, but not by much. So, yeah, we'll get into that. And one thing to note, too, is that, you know, as they show here, like, like there, it looks like they're still using the same cells that, that uh, debuted in the Delta II. You know, and the Delta II is, is very lightweight. And, and actually, I have a Delta II, and it's it that the weight is the reason why I really love that that unit. Now, but if you you know you want more capacity, uh, just more power, right? Um, you might want to consider the this new Delta II Max, and uh, which is probably why you're watching this video, right? But yeah, so one thing to know with these 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 are kind of like giant cells, and you know EcoFlow never really mentioned their supplier or anything with these. But I think, um, you know, Ugreen, I, I talked about the, the new Ugreen power stations here recently. They mentioned that they're getting these things from BYD, and they look to be about the same cells that uh, EcoFlow uses because they mentioned basically the same exact capacity and the sa about the same weight as well. So, um, so, yeah, and if you don't know, BYD is like one of the top electric vehicle uh, manufacturers in China. So, yeah, impressive energy density in these things. Now, these things are huge, so they're not going to work for all types of products, right? But, you know, in these new uh, Delta models, Delta II models, you know, they fit perfect, so, uh, and they keep the weight down, right? Now, let's just kind of jump into um, the, the charging specs here. So, basically, you know, as usual, this is, you know, EcoFlow, is, this, they've been doing this kind of fast charge stuff for a while, so there's no surprise, there's no big changes here. And then uh, the solar, we're going to get into this, uh, actually, well, let's just get into that in a second, but they do mention that you can combine those to do like a super fast charge, right, 43 minutes. Now, I wouldn't recommend doing uh, fast charge like that, like like putting two kilowatt hours into this little battery in 43 minutes. Like, like yes, it's LFP batteries, but that doesn't mean you want to abuse these batteries, right? You still want to kind of take care of them. This would be like emergency situation only. All right, now, so for the solar, this is the other kind of big change from the, from the Delta 2000 Max, is that we actually get um, a little bit more input power, so 1,000 watts. You know, the old model was 800 watts, but it's, it's the input... It's, it's, it's how, it, how you can input the power is the difference. So with this new model, this new Delta II Max, there's actually two inputs. So they're basically using um, the same input that's featured on the regular Delta II. They just put two of them on there. And so basically each input, it's an XT60 and it's 12 to 60 volts, okay? And it's a 500 uh, watt max and it's a 15 amp max on there so pretty that's like a pretty good spec i'm pretty happy with those specs on the on the delta two but on, on this model you actually get two of those right and uh, what's really nice about having two inputs is then you can you can basically do um two different kinds of inputs right so um it, you know the, the one input here and uh the second input here basically you know both of these then you know you can do 500 watts up to and um, and like you said, two different sources. This is this is the big thing. So a lot of times, you know, people like like the show with the with the this kind of RV van in the background. You know, a lot of people will have like you know solar up on the roof of that thing, and so you can have that going into one input, and then you can actually have you know the engine is obviously outputting power with the alternator and stuff, and with the the cigarette uh, lighter output. And you can actually charge that, you know, into the second input. So at the same time, or if you just have two different solar arrays, you don't got to worry about, because you don't want to be like, like typically you don't want to be mixing and matching solar arrays with different voltages. Um, so you can just have two different ones, right? Now, now the thing is the, uh, the, the original Delta 2000, it had um, 800 watts, uh, single input, 800 watts. And it did have a nice voltage range, so you could do that up to, to 100 volts. So this is kind of like pros and cons, depend, depending on like what kind of solar setup you have. Um, you know, maybe the, the, old, the old Delta 2000 with this input might have been, it might be better for some, for some setups. You know, basically it just kind of depends on what you have. Now for the inverter, we do get a continuous of 2400 watts. 
And then they notice here, you know, some appliances up to 3,400 watts. That's with X Boost. You know, I'm, I'm always at the, like, it kind of this, they kind of need to have like an asterisk on this, I think. Um, you know, basically, you don't want to really be using that, especially, especially with such a high, uh, you know, a high load like that. Like, I, ca I can't really think of, I mean, maybe unless you had like several hot plates going, like maybe you have like three or four different electric uh, burners going. I'm not really sure, you know, when you would really use X Boost at such a high wattage because you, you don't want to have it going when you have like a microwave going or your refrigerator going, you know, all that stuff. So I'm not really sure. I, I can't really think of anything, any other circumstance. I don't know. Does anybody else think of a circumstance where you, you'd want to use X Boost? Because, you know, just as, as most of you know, but just to recap, you know, X Boost lowers the, the output voltage of the AC. So, you know, basically that can damage a lot of appliances. So, uh, you only want to use that typically with like like resistive heaters and stuff like that, like resistive heated heated loads. So so yeah, um, but yeah, 2400 watts continuous, and that's a 4800 watt surge on that as well. So so even without X Boost, I would just typically just leave X Boost off. <laughs> you can still power a lot of stuff with that thing, right? And then of course you get the EcoFlow app, which is just excellent, probably one of the best in the business. You know, uh, Bluetooth and Wi-Fi, of course, and there's tons of new features. Like basically this thing will let you do almost set this thing up, you know, however you want to use this. I'm going to actually be making videos on this as well. And then of course, this is the big, you know, this is the big news here, especially going to LFP batteries, 50 pounds. So this is only like two more pounds, right? Than the, uh, the 2000 max. And you know, the thing is, I'll say like, I talk a lot of crap about this design, uh, you know, that EcoFlow uses with having like the USB stuff here and then having the AC outlets on the back. Like, you know, when you're just, when you're using the product, it's just a crappy design, right? Uh, it just kind of makes getting to, getting to the, the output ports difficult. But the one thing that I'll say is, you know, there are big benefits to this design, obviously, is the footprint, right? I mean, just, you know, take a look at this. They're saying this thing is like, like less than 10 inches wide and uh, 20 inches, you know, long. Like, so the footprint on this thing, it's not just the weight, right? The footprint, the, where you can actually set this thing down at and, and just tuck it into spaces is just, it, it's super small, right? All right, now for the extra batteries. So this is, um, you know, basically they're, they got the, the extra batteries now LFP, LFP as well. And with this kind of diagram that's shown here is that actually all of these extra batteries are kind of like backwards compatible. And, you know, basically you can use the old, the old uh, extra batteries with this new model. You can use, you can have this new Delta II Max and use the old extra batteries. And even with the Delta II, you can, you can use those ones as well if you want kind of a, a smaller, you know, more portable option. You can do those as well. And, but basically, you know, so you can do up to two, right? You can do one extra battery or two extra batteries. And I think, you know, basically what this is showing here is that if you're doing two extra batteries, I think they do have to be the, the same type of extra battery. I'm not real sure. Maybe someone can put that note in the comments. But, but yeah, I mean, either way, it's just, it's a super good system. And I love that, that backwards uh, capability. And so for the new extra batteries here, you know, it's 42 pounds. So, you know, pretty good. You know, obviously, again, they're kind of gone with that where, you know, <laughs> you have to hook this thing up to, to the, the, the Delta to the, the main unit, right? There's, there's no USB. There's no output ports on this thing. Uh, obviously, there's no inverter. But we do get this kind of nice storage box. I do kind of like this, you know, um, just a good place to kind of keep all of your cables, right? It does kind of make the extra battery somewhat useful. It's not just totally dead weight, but but yeah, I would, you know, I think everybody wants to see at least some some USB or, or 12 volt outlets on these things. All right, now just talking about the design here real quick. So basically, you know, they haven't really changed, you know, the Delta design hasn't really changed that much over the years, but they have kind of continued to, to tweak the, basically the, the vent design on for the, for the cooling fans. So check this out. This is kind of interesting, you know, basically, um, the, well, the original Delta and the original uh, Delta 2000 Max, you know, basically it had fan designs like this, right? Like it was mostly just little circles. And of course, you know, you got round fans there. So that just, you know, it kind of made sense. But, um, you know, basically when you're talking about airflow and stuff like that, like, like it's really hard to predict, you know, basically, um, you know, companies spend millions of dollars kind of simulating airflow to kind of find out what happens. So it's always just kind of a gener generally, it'd it just be a good idea to kind of go a little bit bigger, <laughs> right, than, than what you need. And that's, and that's what they've done with the, This is the Delta II. So yeah, as you can see here, they made them, you know, not only have they made the vents bigger, but they've kind of changed 
to this, it's almost like this octagonal, <laughs> I don't even know if that's a word. It's, it's like an octagon shape, right? So they've, it, they kind of made it bigger, but then I, I think just too, from an aesthetic standpoint, it just looks better, right? I mean, it just kind of fills, it fills proportion wise, it kind of fills the space a little bit better. And, you know, just being that, that, that octagon shape, it just, you know, squaring it off a little bit. You know, obviously the rest of the product has got a lot of uh, hard angles on it as well. For this new 2000, or excuse me, for the two Delta 2 Max, they've kind of tweaked this again. And I kind of like this. It almost has like a little bit more of a modern look to it, right? Now, one last thing I, I, I just got to make a note of because it just this just kind of drives me nuts. So, you know, these things have li these little lights that like breathing lights and little lights that come on for when you turn the USB on. So I'll just actually, there you go. <laughs> I actually just Photoshop that in. Um, and then it also has these new models actually have a, a little Bluetooth light up there. And this is actually a really cool little light. I actually just love having the Bluetooth connected to this thing because you do get this kind of nice little blue light that kind of stays on. I don't know. I just, I just, I just kind of like that. And uh, so, so there you go. You got that simulated there. But the one thing that just super like, it just drives me crazy is check this out. That little USB light here. It's actually off center from the other two lights. Like, uh, like I got this little yellow line here. You can actually see, look, like take a look at this. You can actually see that this little light is off center. So the other two lights are dead center. And then if you have the USB on, you have this little light that's just slightly off center. So that just kind of drives me crazy. So what I've, what I've done here is I'm actually gonna uh, show you that I've, I've Photoshopped this so that basically, let's turn these lights off. So basically, uh, I photoshopped this to have like a vertical orientation. <laughs> and there you go. There you go. So a uh, little vertical orientation on that switch would just kind of change this thing up. And, uh, and here, I'll just, uh, let's see, turn that on and uh, turn that on. And there you go. And if we do the yellow line test, bam, there it is, right? Everything's lined up. And you know what's crazy about this? Um, you know, not only do they have room, you know, obviously they have room here to have it, to have it mounted vertically. But all the switches on the backside for the inverter and the DC are actually mounted vertically as well. Now, one last little thing that I, I noticed on this listing is uh, this thing here. This has really kind of piqued my interest, got me curious. I don't know if this is just like a little Easter egg thing, or maybe I just haven't heard of this. But uh, EcoFlow PowerStream Balcony Solar System. <laughs> like this is this is just an awesome idea because you know if you live in an apartment or something and you got a balcony, you know it's very hard to get solar. <laughs> Basically what I can, you know, see a little bit here is it looks like this is like some kind of solar panel system that actually is designed to like hang over the balcony railing, right? So this is just like, I'm just like super excited to take a look at that. I don't know if that's even, does anybody know, is that even, even out yet? Or is that just something that's coming? So yeah, that's just a new Delta two max, you know, these, these things, it's just so exciting to talking about all these, uh, power stations, solar generators, whatever you want to call them, however you want to use them, you know, the, the, the features on these things, they just keep getting better and better. And remember, this is only like, like what, like five years ago, a little tiny like Jackery 240 was like, was like the thing to have, right? Like, it's, it's just crazy. Uh, all the things you can do with this. And again, like you said, especially with EcoFlow and their app, there's so much potential to, to kind of set this thing up and customize it, to use it however you want. And, um, and basically too, um, they actually have it, this is on, you know, this is on Amazon here, but uh, actually I would definitely check out the EcoFlow website because they had this promotion, like, I don't know how long this is gonna last, but they got it like, uh, like two solar panels uh, for free, I think for free, you, you could just add them on there. So, so yeah, basically uh, check that out. And um, yeah, just hopefully you just kind of found this overview like like real helpful or interesting or or even if you just found it entertaining, right? So um so yeah um and yeah thanks for watching.